Good morning guys, right, um, so the centre console has been left overnight for the paint to fully harden, last thing we want to do is um, attempt to put it back in after all that work when the paint's soft and go and mark the paint work on it, so uh, <clears throat> yeah a few, uh, few pointers to go over um, before we start. Um, I'm waiting on a couple of new switches to come through from, or second hand switches to come through from Ian because one of my switches were playing up. So they've got to be changed. I'm not going to put the other switches back in just yet. They should be here hopefully today or tomorrow at the outside. Uh, the other thing is the hinge is broken on the thing. It's been broken ever since I've had the car and it's quite a common um, quite a common problem with these so I've ordered the repair kit um, that I think it's, it's just basically a metal hinge and some pop rivets <laughs> so before we start putting the console in uh, the lock the armrest lock unit has got to go back in which goes in from underneath the console with the three screws so I'm just going to put that back in because I need both of my hands free and then we'll get on to putting the console back in the car right so the first thing I'm going to do is have a bit of a clean up nothing super why it's not really that bad actually now obviously we need to be extra careful putting the centre console back in so we're going to take a few precautions um, before refitting it and one of the first things I'm going to do is it was a bit of a struggle to get it round the handbrake when we were getting it out so we'll have the gear change knob off because that's nice and easy to do that is off and out of the way so yeah what I decided to do I'll put the car into first gear so it doesn't roll off anywhere now I know I should use two spanners but I keep looking at the other camera again I don't happen to have two 13 mil spanners so I've got to make do with a pair of grips but these nuts that you use to adjust the handbrake cable should not be overly tight so all I'm going to do is just loosen off the handbrake cable so that I can get the handbrake up there we go, just those. that should allow me to get the handbrake up a lot higher to give some more clearance to the centre console when I put it back in the other thing I've got is some, um, I'll hold them up here, hey, let me face, there you go, some microfiber towels um, to put over the seat belt, the seat belt mountings so that they don't scratch the console. And last but not least, and we'll move this stuff off the seat because also I'm going to take the seat covers off because the seat covers are kind of a vinyl material and I don't want them scratching it as I put it in. I am a little bit worried that they might actually rub the side of the console once it's in there. Handbrake comes up nice and high. So we've got <coughs> two light switches here. This one I know is the ashtray. This one I can't remember. You can see that there. Can you see that in the other camera? Right. Nice white. Nice white microfiber towels. I'm going to go over the seat belt holders. Like so. There we go. Hope you can see. Right. Okay, so handbrakes pull up. They're wrapped up. That's our two uh, wires for lighting. Okay, the other one I'm going to do 
Not that it should make too much difference here because this bit is hidden under the. Do you see that in there? Yeah, this bit is hidden under the. Here we go. We've got to now try and get this console in. Yeah, so first thing is clearly obvious. It's not going to work with it in second gear. So, clutch down. Right, better keep my foot on the foot brake. Leave the gear change in neutral. As we try and slide this in. Okay, right. This is a very delicate operation now. I'm just gently pulling that forwards. That down there. Whoa. Well, I shouldn't say this, but at the moment it's going swimmingly well. Now I'm just going to take that out of there because it's actually <laughs> catching on the console and making it difficult to get in. Right, so I'll just bring that up slightly. Ooh, look at that. There we go. Right, what's holding it? That's it here. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you take that one out of the way. Light switches. Uh, if you can see that from that camera and that one, yeah. Right, something is holding it up in the air. Oh, right, it's in there. That one is in place at the front. Something is holding the console. I'm put the car in gear again, so I'll take my foot off the handbrake. Right. Is it the handbrake? No. Okay, so essentially it's in, um, but something is holding it just fractionally up in the air. Two screws are a different size. The two screws that hold the ashtray in are different to the rest of the screws. So we have one here in the middle, one at the front. Okay, one in where the little pound holding thing goes, and one in down there where the floor goes. That in. I have, in my wisdom, forgotten to connect something. And I'll tell you what it was. It's the switch. So unscrew it all again, lift it out to put the switch on for the alarm. From that side. Right. Minor setback. Let's tighten them down. Here's the ratchet. I don't have a screwdriver thing for these sockets, so I have to use this little ratchet. Right, I'm going to start at the middle. And work me way out. Let's just move the two switches out of the way until you know, to switch.
Right, <clears throat> readjust the handbrake, put that back on. Miles to go yet. I was always taught three clicks was acceptable. Oh, that sounds good. Four. Yeah, just a touch. This is a lock nut. It just stops it from coming undone. Okay, so you don't have to muller it when you're doing it up. We'll put the floor in first. down there, floor to your handbrake can go on there so your car doesn't roll off and it should come out of gear. Again, I don't need to mother them. So that's the floor pan in. This is a weird looking thing, but that's just basically Clips in like that. There we go. That goes. And let's get that bit of foam back in. Under there. I don't want to go in very well today. Right, so this clips in there, like so. And this can go back in. in like that. Right. <clears throat> Gear change cover which also needs cleaning. Can go back on. Gear shift push this on. That goes in there. Like so. It's this side, that's why. There we go. It's that one. go on for these hook over like that and then that and the same this side over and so nearly clean all right there we go all right rubber mat back in there wrong way round Then we can get the other side pieces that go on to here. So we'll just go and get those. Right, so this is the handbrake cover. It slots in at the bottom. And then goes in there. There we go. Okay. <coughs> when you take the armrest off, the armrest you've got uh, eight small screws there that hold it to the inner bit. And then when you've got it off on the inside there, you've got this pin that just pushes out. Now obviously there's no point in me putting that back in. 
um, because I've got to replace it with the repair kit. So I'm just going to put this back together, put the armrest on there because I'm going to need the armrest locked in so that the alarm doesn't keep going off. Because little plastic hooks at the end there, and this has to hook into that like that before you screw it down. Let's tighten these up again. Okay, so this is mainly so that the alarm doesn't go off. Secondly, it's so that I have got something to lean on and don't go and hurt myself, injure myself. And thirdly, so that it looks good for you guys when I do those final shots that you want to see to see what it all looks like. Clean that off a bit. Now, again. I will put, I'm going to put the switch panel in, I'm not going to screw it down, and I'm going to put the um, ashtray in, and I'm not going to screw that down, well that just clips in, um, so that you can see it all together, but obviously when there's, that's got to come back out when the switches get here, <coughs> so that you can, so that I can put the switches in, I can't see the point of screwing all that in and then taking it all out again just for the switches. So let's go and get that panel for you. because it's not screwed down because it looks like the ashtray sits onto the top of these screws see these heads on oh there you go see the head on there i think the clothes is not a uh, continuity joke. Um, the original plan was to make one video, taking the centre console out, painting the centre console and putting the console back in. Um, but it just ended up such a large project with so much footage and um, spreading out over several days. And the end result was I lost some of the footage for putting the video back in, uh, for, sorry, for putting the centre console back in. Um, but I've done the best I can to still bring this video to you with what footage I had. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it helpful as always. Um, obviously, more videos to come. Uh, I'm going to take a rest now because I've spent several weeks just editing and editing and editing. Um, Thank you for watching, please subscribe, please click the like button, click the bell for the notifications and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Ciao.